Souls Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and the main purpose of this video today is to show you what is in this box and we're going to do a kind of unboxing but more so really to show you how these things have arrived in this box and how they've been packaged and how pleased I am with the way that they've been packaged and the way it's been handled and also to show Hasbro and Target and Walmart and Amazon or Whoever else has sent you a figure or a collectible in a baggie or a box that's not big enough, a box that's not strong enough, that's been crumpled, this is the way to do it. And this is Shop Disney, and I'm going to show you exactly what they've done in here in a second. And this is for basically also, as I said, for Hasbro to take note, this is how it should be done. But before we do open this box, I just quickly want to talk to you about some images that have shown up online. I'm sure you've seen them in various Facebook groups and online and things like that. And it's for the Boba Fett's throne room. And I just find it a little bit strange that obviously I think it's starwarsfigurin.com that have got them in Germany. They've got these images. Um, they're not super high res, so I'm not too sure where they've got them. But I just find it a little bit surprising that Hasbro haven't like put out a press release and shown the high res versions of these off so we can all see them. Because obviously the box is out there. There was a video on YouTube, I think it was a ZBrush thing or something, and they had the box there again. You, you couldn't really see it that well. But I'll show you these pictures now. We're just going to put them on the screen here just to talk about them because the box does look awesome and obviously we can just about see what the card back's going to look like for the for the Bib Fortuna. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit weird that obviously, you know, these images have just shown up and, you know, they haven't really like done a press release. I find the way they market things sometimes very, very strange. I know you can't order the thing anymore, but still, you know, for the people that have ordered it, it's going to be shipping soon. All this time, we still haven't seen proper images of the box, but these are the best images that we have right now. And as you can see, as I mentioned, it's the vintage style box, of course. It looks great. I'm sure the actual playset's going to be awesome. It's got loads of accessories and everything. And as I mentioned there, you can just about see the, uh, the carded figure that we're all going to be getting inside of, of Fat Bib Fortuna. But I thought I'd just put those up on the screen now for you to check out. As I said, I'm sure you've seen them in some other Facebook groups and things like that, but I thought it was worth mentioning in this video rather than making a whole video just about that. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So this is from Shop Disney and it arrived in this outer box, which is a nice sturdy box. Um, it had like a rip cord thing there which I've ripped open already and I'm just going to open it up just so you can see how they have packed these figures and I was so surprised because this is the sort of thing that you would get from an independent retailer someone like Big Bad Toy Store do this with their like collector grades so they've packed the figures I ordered two they've packed the figures in these boxes here which I'll just put on the down here quickly and get this out of the way but inside the box you can see it's obviously got all the um, Mickey Mouse and stuff branding for for Shop Disney so the the inner boxes were put in with this here so they wouldn't rattle around inside it's a really nice sturdy box and we'll just get that out of the way quickly just so you can see how these have been done so I've got two of them I haven't opened this one yet um, but I did sort of slice this one open so once again a nice sturdy box within another sturdy box all taped down and then when you open this up look you've got another piece of cardboard in there to keep it all nice and secure and then if you take that out you've got this box which is an absolute perfect fit for a vintage collection or one of these figures these droid factory figures and then we take it out of here and not surprisingly it is in absolutely mint condition there's not a blemish on it the bubble is absolutely amazing no crushes no dents no scratches the card is straight as you like if i just quickly compare this to something that i got from hasbro pulse just the other day this is how my boba fett's arrived these are the comic art edition boba fett the death lies and treachery versions and you can see there massive crease in the card these were these were packed i had two and both of these were packed in one box that was nowhere near big enough for the figures so they weren't laid flat or anything like that they were sort of almost laid corner to corner like this in a box that wasn't really tall enough and basically they just got warped and crushed so that is hasbro pulse 
this is Shop Disney. Now, I have to admit, I have had things from Shop Disney before, which have turned up in one of those big boxes and just rattled around by themselves. But they're obviously learning how to treat collectibles. And this is a collectible. People are going to keep this on the card, especially the vintage collection. People definitely keep those on card, as we know. And as I say, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this whatsoever. If I wanted to keep this on card, which I'm not going to, I'm going to keep that one or whichever one's the best, actually. But um, I'm sure the one in there is just as good as this. In fact, why not? Let's have a look right now. So I've taken the tape off, open the box. And once again, we've got a piece of cardboard in there. They didn't have to do that. They did not have, you know, somebody has actually cut this out. It looks like they did not have to put that in there on top just to give it a bit of extra padding. And there it is. And this one, once again, is in absolutely perfect condition. Not a wave on it. It's pretty much perfectly straight. Bubbles in decent nick. And I've got two there which are in really, really good condition. And, you know, I can now choose which one I want to open. I'm probably going to put this figure on the barge, of course, or, or in the palace. But I just wanted to do that video, really, just to show you, because I know how frustrating many of you guys are, especially in the US, and also us guys in the UK, when Hasbro Pulse themselves send out things like this, you know. Um, these are actually going to be returned, which is good, and they do have other stock. I've, this is what they told me anyway. So they are going to be replacing those, so that's one thing. But I shouldn't have to do that. It's a hassle to have to do that. And as I said, you know, you guys in the US, I... I know that you guys have problems with Walmart and Target sending things out in in mailers and stuff like that. You know, a carded figure in just a mailer, it's going to get damaged. It's going to get trashed, isn't it? Um, so I just wanted to show you guys, Shop Disney in the UK. This is how you do it, Hasbro. This is how you do it. So whoever you're working with, Walmart, Target, Amazon, whoever it is, this is what you should be telling them they need to be doing. Anyway, small rant over. I thought I'd just get that off of my chest. I wanted to show you guys how pleased I am with the service of Shop Disney on this occasion and to show that Hasbro can do better. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know also your thoughts on that throne room box image as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. And we shall see you on the next one.